so um, I'm thinking that she might die. Angels, it's your girl Jay, and today I am here with an October TBR. I have not actually filmed a TBR since last October, so it's been an entire year, but it is spooky season. It is also my birthday month. My birthday is on October 29th, and I just feel like it is time again to get into TBRs. Will I film another one after this? Who's to say? But we are filming one for the birthday month, so without further ado, let us get started. I have a total of seven books for this TBR. Will I get to all seven of these books? I don't know, maybe, probably not, but we can have high hopes for them. The majority of these books are spooky, hence spooky season. So the first book that I have is Lee Bardugo's The Familiar. This has been on my TBR since it came out. I originally thought that it had something to do with vampires. Apparently it has nothing to do with vampires and I have no idea why that thought was put into my head, but I'm obsessed with this book. It is gorgeous. Like, look at the sprayed edges and then also those end papers. Excuse me. The tagline is fate can be changed, curses can be broken, but I honestly have no idea what it's about because it's not about vampires as I once thought and I don't really want to know what it's about. I know that is um, me being a bad booktuber, but I want to be surprised, especially with a Lee Bardugo book. Next up, I have a book that I'm actually in the middle of. It's Holly Horror The Longest Night. This is by Michelle Jabay Corpora. This is the second book. The first book I actually read last month and it is Holly Horror and I give it a 3.5. But then I went immediately into this book and it picks up a couple months after the first book ends. I just am about halfway through and I haven't finished it yet so I figured I might as well put it on to the TBR because we're halfway through anyways. But I'm listening to it on audiobook and then it got taken away from me on my library and so I'm just waiting for it to return. It's a waiting game for this one. And then the next book I also have is one that I am also in the middle of. It is Library of Souls by Ransom Riggs. I'm trying to finish the Peculiar Children series. I read the first two already and so we're on to the third book. I have the fourth book. I don't own the fifth and sixth book but I also have Tales of the Peculiar. This is the like tales that are told throughout the series in one place so I am very intrigued to read this one because I think it's going to be a lot of fun but this one third book trying to finish the whole series so I can get it off my shelves because it's been on there forever. Next up I have Spells for Forgetting. This is by Adrian. Adrian Young. I really like Adrian Young's writing style. This one says that it is a deeply atmospheric story about ancestral magic, an unsolved murder, and a second chance at true love. I also heard that the like land that this story takes place on is kind of a character in itself, which I always find intriguing when that happens. It also says that it's a slow burn romance, which I'm a sucker for, so I am definitely intrigued. I've read almost all of her books at this point, so I'm excited to pick up another one. The next book that I have on my TBR is Survive the Night by Ryan. Sager. This is about a girl who gets into the car with a man named Josh and then as she is driving home with him she realizes that he might actually be the campus killer that everybody is searching for. So um, I'm thinking that she might die or she's gonna be a final girl and escape. We don't know but I have had this one on my TBR for a very long time as well. I have a love-hate relationship with Riley Sager. I feel like some of his books I really enjoy and then other ones I find very mediocre. So this one I'm hoping that I really like. I am a big fan of serial killers, so I'm thinking that I might like it. I'm hoping it's really spooky for spooky season, but... I guess we'll see. And then the final book that I'm hoping to read for Spooky Season in October is The Once and Future Witches by Alex E. Haro. This has been on my TBR forever and I just haven't picked it up but it says witches so I feel like it's the perfect time to read a book about witches. I also have this one on my audiobook for my library so I'm hoping to pick it up soon. It is quite a chonker. I didn't realize how thick she was. All right everybody but. so those were the seven books that I'm hoping to read in October. October for 2024. Let me know down below if you have read any of these books and what you thought of them. And I will see you all in my next video. Goodbye!